And I'm the token black person that walks in and they're just like, oh, who's gonna take her? <laughs> and it's like, oh, fuck. All right. Yeah. Cool. So. <clears throat> That's the thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think it's more than just misconceptions. It's like how racialized folks, black folks specifically, have, are treated. That the designs aren't gonna look the same. That they can't get colored inks. Like hearing that, I think it's just, I think it's just exhausting. Yeah. Like I founded the Rose Underground, a collective of tattooers and tattoo enthusiasts, black specific. We'll throw events. We also plan on like hosting seminars for like how to work with black skin, like black and gray realism. These people need to know that what is there is available to them. Still trying to get artists on board, but uh, they're scared. I'm scared. There's like this um, fear of being blackballed. And I've actually had some really negative response from the tattooing world, from specific artists in the tattooing world. I wouldn't be doing any of this stuff if I didn't feel like if it was within its capacity. It doesn't come from divisiveness. It doesn't come from hating any particular group. I think it, ju it just comes from like love and like my passion for, for the art and how I'd like to see it move forward. And I'm gonna keep doing it <laughs> regardless anyways. I've had to fight so hard to get to where I'm at that I'm not really gonna let some angry white boys stop me from continuing to do what I'm doing.